Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and this is part two of my dream house build mini series type thing. Uh, in the last part, I basically did all the uh, first floor, a little bit of the outside, and you saw the bottom half of the garage area. So right now we're doing the top of the garage, and basically what we want to do, or what we're kind of thinking, is we'll buy a property, and for the time being, when our house is being built, we'll basically live up here above the garage uh, until the main house is finished. And then when the main house is finished, we'll move into there and maybe rent out the, the second floor of the garage or maybe have it for our future kids or something like that. But yeah, so... Up here is basically everything you would need, a, a small kitchen, a bathroom, and just a little area for you to sleep in and a little area to watch TV or whatever. So that was basically the idea of this top part of the garage. Um, if this is the first video that you've seen for this little series, you can check out the first part of my dream home build and you can check that out uh, so all of this makes more sense <laughs> but if you have seen it already thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos I really appreciate it and yeah so the idea in case you don't know uh, for this whole thing I really wanted to do like a build of basically my dream home, what I would love for it to be, and not just my dream home, but my hubby's dream home as well. So he helped me out in figuring out what we should do and how we should decorate it, and he was a big help, and he was uh, kind of a collaboration with me uh, while we were doing this. So yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, and I definitely want to incorporate him more in my videos, I think, because, I don't know, I, I just think that would bring a little extra something to the channel, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So at this point, the hubby, he walked in when I was building, and he was like, did you make my basement? And I was like, what? <laughs> And he's like, I don't care how much it costs or whatever. I just really want a basement. And I was like, okay, I guess I can do that for you. So here I was adding the basement. Uh, and I figured the best place to put it was kind of like right beside where the main stairs are. In the basement, there will be his bar area because he really wants to get into like... Uh, brewing his own beer and just kind of wanting it to be a hangout spot for him just to relax and enjoy his man cave and I also put a little washroom down there I wanted to like that rug I really did but I just can't I can't do it <laughs> I've always liked this yellow rug so yeah this area is pretty simple. I honestly didn't know what to do with it, and so I just thought, oh, I'll come back to it later, maybe, um, with fresh eyes. Here I'm just adding some side tables, making the living room a little more livable. I love these n travel posters that NASA came out with. I cannot believe that I found them for Sims CC. Like, I cannot. So going back down to the basement, I wanted this little area to look like it was the water heater or something, or like the pump for the pool maybe, because it's right next to it. I don't know if that's really realistic, but I thought it looked kind of cool and brought in a little detail to the basement. And I know this is kind of weird, but I honestly would love if 
The Sims came out with like a laundry stuff pack or a laundry game pack or something. <laughs> it's so random, but I think it would add a lot to like the gameplay and realism when you're playing, especially when you have a family or uh, whatever. So yeah, I would love to have an arcade system in the basement. So I put the big clunky uh, arcade system there with some gaming posters that I think the hubby would like a lot. His favorite colors are black and gray and every shade in between. He's not really much for color. The only color he really, really likes is red. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I like every color out there, except for probably orange. I don't really like orange that much, to be honest. And also, those posters on the wall there that are framed, they're so nice. They're actually Star Wars posters, and um, I really like them. I wonder if I can find them in real life, because I definitely would not mind. Uh, both the hubby and I are big Star Wars fans, and we're actually starting to watch the Clone Wars, the animated series, and it's really good, and I have no idea why I didn't watch it until now. I kind of thought it was a little too kiddish, maybe, but I don't know. So now we're going to the upstairs, and up here is just basically a, a guest bedroom, a guest bathroom, and then the master bedroom and bathroom. We don't have any kids, and we are thinking about not having kids, um, but... I would like to adopt, though, one day. That's, like, one of my dreams is to adopt some kids. Because, like, just being real with you guys, um, me personally, I feel like there's so many kids in the world that need a home and need love. And I don't know. I, I just feel like that's where my heart is and that's where... I want to be in the future, so, yeah, um, <laughs> this got really personal and deep, but that's okay, uh, I love you all, and it's, it's okay to be transparent and open, um, I did find, okay, so going back to the build, I did find out that this was a thing, um, the little record player, that I was moving around. It is custom content and it's fully functional, which is great, but I actually stuck it inside of one of the dresser accent table things and it sits on top really nicely and you can barely see the bottom legs. So it looks like it's just a record player on top of the little accent table, which I love, which I would want to have one day. I already do have a record player but at this point, it's just kind of sitting beside the TV, and it's not very pretty, and <laughs> I'm always worried my cat will, like, mess with it. So, yeah. So this is really cool. Um, it's actually a, it's called a build-a-shower kit, and it comes with different pieces, like the water feature, or the, the faucet, and different doors. So basically, you can have kind of like a custom shower and it's fully functional and you can have your own tile or like backsplash whatever you want and yeah I just I really loved it that's custom content as well and don't worry I'm gonna provide all the links to the custom content that I used in this house um, and if anything is missing just let me know or if you're interested in something I'll try and link you to it directly if you can't find it because some of this stuff is really cool so I want to make sure you have it if you want it uh, but yeah so I'm going into the master uh, bathroom 
full on and I really love these cabinets that are black with the wooden countertop. I use these in the kitchen as well, but they worked really nicely with uh, some of the other counters that came with the base game. Well, I think those came with kitchen stuff, but yeah, I would love to have like a, a more modern... Uh, not really industrial, but I like a really clean contemporary bathroom. As much as I love vintage stuff, I also love really contemporary stuff as well. So that's what I'm doing here. After I used these fuzzy rugs, I actually found some custom content rugs that fit really nicely around the toilet, like a toilet rug, and in front of the sinks and whatever. Uh, so I think I put those in after I recorded everything. Uh, that was a pretty cool find because I haven't really seen anything like that. I like the idea of having the toilet like in a separate little room. I don't know, I just, I think that's kind of nice. My, well, <laughs> the master bedroom here is kind of a irregular shape and I wish that the room was a little more boxy or just a regular shape, but it proved to be a bit of a challenge to figure out like how to rearrange the furniture to make it work. I ended up making this room uh, Corey's office. Corey is my hubby. Um, he, I think he would really want like a little space for himself because... He's the finance guy in the family, so he likes to sit every weekend and just kind of go over our finances and uh, go through the mail and does kind of his little ritual that he does every weekend. So I thought it would be nice to have an office for him just so he can go and do that and do some gaming and have a, a place to store all of his collectibles. Uh, but yeah, so here... I would love to have a walk-in closet one day, like with a closet system and just like a really cool space for the closet. It doesn't have to be necessarily huge, and I don't really want it to be, but yeah, just a little walk-in closet area I think would be amazing. Here I'm just doing the guest bathroom it's pretty simple just a shower a toilet and a sink but I think it would be really nice to have a separate room for guests when they come to visit and their own bathroom because nothing is worse than having to share your personal bathroom with your guests like even if they're family or good friends like I don't know it just makes me uncomfortable <laughs> so yeah, it, it'd probably be really nice to have their own separate little thing. Going back to uh, Corey's office, I chose this architectural photo or artwork. He's a really big fan of black and white, um, like, photography artwork as well as uh, architectural photos that are black and white, so I wanted to include that in there for him. And I added little computer parts and uh, the gaming computer, as well as a display case for little gnome figurines. He does have a few like gaming memorabilia and uh, figures that I'm sure he'd love to display one day. So yeah, it's just his little office area there. So going outside, I was really excited about this part because as much as like I hate working outside, I think I may get into it a little more. Like when we have our own house and I can um, kind of design what the landscaping looks like, at least that's my hope. And... If it doesn't work out, I'll just have the hubby do it. <laughs> but I would love to have my own, like, 
not secret garden, but just a garden that's a little secluded from the patio area. And I wanted to have a bunch of flowers and trees and a sitting area with a fountain. I would love to go out there and just enjoy the flowers and the landscaping and maybe like spend some time reading out there or something. But yeah, that's that's one of my dreams is to have a beautiful flower garden in the backyard to enjoy and uh and just kind of walk through and relax. My grand my grandpa actually had and my grandma, but he always had a heart, uh, a garden and he was outside constantly. My grandma has a garden as well, but it's more like her backyard is just full of random like fruit trees and stuff. And I don't know, I I lived with my grandparents when I was younger for quite a while and I just I love spending time back there and it reminds me of them. So, yeah. Well, guys, we're going to get into the short little cas of me and the hubby and then the machinima. So I hope you enjoyed watching uh, me build my dream house. And I might do another one of these um, just because, I don't know, I, I really like, um, I really like building and sharing with you all, uh, more about me, and, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>
twins and April 